In the previous unit, we finished processing soil data. In this unit, we are going to process land use data. Now, for soil data, we had to do a lot of processing with the vector data set, and finally, we converted that vector data set into a raster data set. Now, with land use, I'm going to uncheck the soil so we can see land use data set. The land use data set that we have is already in raster form. So there is not much processing to do. The only processing that we are going to do here is we are going to reduce the number of classes that we have in this land use data set. So on the left in the table of content, you will see that the land use has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, more than 10 types of land uses. And we have four soil hydrologic groups, one, two, three, four. Now we can actually work with this land use data sets as it is, but just to simplify the process, we are going to reclassify. By reclassify, what I mean is you can see that the developed land is classified into four different types. So instead of having four different types of developed land use, we can just have one. Similarly with forest, we have deciduous forest, evergreen forest, mixed forest. Instead of having different types of forests, we can just classify them into one as forest. So this is what we are going to do with reclassification. To do this reclassification, we are going to use the geoprocessing tools. And the tool that we need is the reclassify tool, which you can find under spatial analyst tools. So if your toolbox is not open, go to geoprocessing, open your toolbox and go to spatial analyst tools. Under spatial analyst tools, go to reclass and within reclass, we want to use reclassify. Now before we run that tool, we want to know how we want to classify our land use types and that reclassification is given to you in the handout. So this is how we are going to reclassify. In this column on the left, you see the current land use types that we have, and we are going to combine them into four different classes. So 11, 90, 95 will become one, 21, 22, 23, 24 will become two, 41, 42, 43 will become three, and then the rest will become four. And then you can see the description associated with those. So the program will not necessarily use this description. This is for us to know what one, two, three, and four means in land use types. In soil type, we know one is hydrologic soil group A, two is B, 3 is C and 4 is D. Similarly, for land use, we will know 1 is water, 2 is medium residential, 3 is forest, and 4 is agricultural. So let's go ahead and reclassify our data set based on this table that you have in your handout. So to do that reclassification, we will use the reclassify tool. The input raster is going to be cedar underscore LU. The value field is the reclass field. And then we are going to use this unique option here. Okay. And by default, it will show you all the existing values we have. And in the new, we are going to use the new number that we are going to give it to these classes. So 11 is one, which is fine. 90 is also one based on our new reclassification and 95 is also one. So that's our water land use. Next, we are going to use the developed space and assign it a, a new number of two. So 21 becomes two, which is fine. 22 becomes 2, 23 becomes 2, and 24 becomes 2. Next, we are going to deal with forest. So we have 41, which is deciduous forest. So that will get a number of 3, 
we have 42 which is evergreen forest that will get a number of 3 we will have 43 which is mixed forest that will get a number of 3 and that is it for the forest land use and finally everything else is agricultural so we are going to assign a value of 4 for that so we have 31 which is also agricultural so that will get a value of 4 so make sure that the new column that you see here has only 1, 2, 3 and 4. So as long as that is done, our reclassification is done. All we have to do is save our new raster as LU reclass and we will make sure that it doesn't get stored inside the geodatabase. So we will save it where our soil is saved. So we will name it LU reclass and run and once this is done you will see your LU reclass raster added to the map and now this has only four classes one two three and four one for water two for developed or residential land 3 is for forest and 4 is for agriculture and since Indiana is mostly agriculture you can see the, the dominant land use in Cedar Creek is also 4. So this finishes the land use processing part. In the next unit we will create the C and grid raster and this is it for this unit. Save your project and in the next unit we will create the curve number grid which is the final output from this module.